Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 4th of August comes to you from London and uh, seeing the energy mix up strongly this morning uh, so we'll take a look at that at the end but lots of green on the screen there and if we look at uh, broader markets we're seeing also a lot of green on the screen so markets showing some strength at the moment. Um, <clears throat> the dollar index is flat. Uh, we see the last few days uh, we've just been really teetering along at this 92 level. Uh, remembering this is my weekly, my daily and my 60 minute chart. If we're above the cloud we're bullish, if we're below the cloud we're bearish. And the corresponding point and figure targets as well. That means that the euro is also relatively flat against the dollar, just ticking down a bit this morning. Uh, so that's quite key as well. Sterling is sitting at 139.25 and against the euro, uh, strengthening quite uh, significantly there. So we're starting to sit, nudge this 117.50 level, which uh, would give us a new 18-month um, high. So that would be significant. Looking at Bitcoin, we're back below the $40,000 mark. Uh, we're just seeing that short-term bearishness creeping in, heading towards that target of 37000 that was given uh, just a couple of days ago. The S&P 500 index was up strongly yesterday. Continue its run bullish in all three time frames. We're seeing the futures this morning down slightly and up slightly on the Nasdaq, so markets are likely to open flat. Uh, the VIX volatility is slightly up, but uh, still sitting pretty steady around this 18 level. Uh, the FTSE futures up a third of percent. The DAX in Germany up 0.4%. Uh, and if we look at Asia, it was pretty much up. The only uh, market that was lower was Tokyo, down 0.4%. But we're seeing quite strong showings um, in, in the Asian indices. Uh, the Sensex in India up nearly 1% and, and breaking that uh, level to make new highs. Uh, we still have an upside target some 65% higher on the Indian market. So that looks very bullish indeed. Soft commodities, uh, we're seeing sugar up 1%, uh, wheat up 0.6%. So we're seeing quite a, a resurgence there. Lots of upside targets uh, for wheat, so looking very strong. Gold edging higher at 8 of 18, 18.14. Uh, and if we look at silver, sitting at 25.70. Again, just pushing higher. Um, waiting for this break of $30 on silver. Palladium was up 0.26%. And US 10-year yields recovering a little bit to 1.18%. Uh, so we've seen a real pullback in yield prices uh, in recent weeks. The energy mix was looking at Brent crude lower this week, has been falling away. Uh, as I say, the hallmarks of a lower high and lower low. This is my daily and my 60 minute chart. My daily 60 minute and one minute. Very short term targets. This one was given on the 1st of August to 70, and that's really the target we've been going for another one to 69.10. So that's really driven the prices. So if you're trading short term, these one minute charts are, are vital. Looking at uh, nat gas, we're up, up above $4 again, so uh, rising higher there. Global gas markets, we see US nat gas here, um, along with Asian and European gas just uh, pushing higher all the time. Emissions up to 54.46, starting to look um, more perky again. Found support on the cloud on the long term chart, and these uh, targets starting to um, come in. Looking at uh, gas higher again, MBP. Uh, well and truly above that 105 level. We've got a massive target there on the daily chart. So um, we do have some short term downside there, but at the moment, MVP looking very strong. TTF, much the same picture up at 1% this morning. Again, looking strong with upside targets. German power is up uh, at 76.30, just pushing higher with those new highs. Uh, and, and Nordic Power, we were bullish this week. That's also edging higher, having uh, jumped quite significantly there as well. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.